What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Now, today we're doing something a little bit different than what we usually do. We're going to be talking about this upcoming uh, Datacron cycle. Now, I am not the best in terms of uh, Datacrons here. It gets a little confusing for me. I'm still, I'm kind of new into the world of Datacrons, but this Datacron set right here. It's kind of insane, and we're going to talk about it a little bit, show you a little bit of the stats, we're going to do a little bit of playtesting here, but before we get too far into that, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, we are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers this year, that'd be greatly appreciated if we could hit that goal, so help us get there, uh, and also you'll have more friends if you do so. Now, let's get right into this video. So, we have a few great crons this season. We have this Holdo one, which we're going to be playtesting today. This cron is amazing. Um, you basically, well, mine, I have an eh, okay, kind of level 3 stat here. This tenacity one doesn't hurt at all, but this level 9 bonus mechanic really does it with the max health, the max protection. Um, it really helps you here. Um, this is a really great cron here. And we take a look at some of these other ones down here. Darth Sidious, you guys have seen a lot of other stuff about this. I'm not going to go too much into this because of, uh, well, you've already seen Arnold's video, let's be honest here. This is kind of crazy, right? Um, I mean, he basically turns Darth Sidious into a crazy solo character that's capable of taking out Jedi Master Luke teams. Insane stuff here. And we take a look over the, the next one over here. Ray is my other one I have currently. Pretty good right now. First time Ray is defeated, they revive 100% health, gain protection over time, 75% for two turns, and take a bonus turn. Uh, I also have every each uh, the first time each resistance ally falls below 50% health, all resistance allies reduce their cooldowns by one and gain 10% turn meter, and the extra little speed and offense stat for the level three. So my Ray one's pretty good. However, I really want to talk about this Holdo one in particular with Ray in just a second here. Um, but the last one on here that I don't have is Darth Bane. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the next time. Uh, Conquest comes around that this one will turn into my Darth Bane uh, level 9 and I will have Darth Bane by the end of the next Conquest cycle We're not going to talk about that last live stream if you don't know great But we're not going to talk about it. So whoa you guys what's up? It is editing asteroid and I actually realized there's more statistics I wanted to share with you about this section of the video. We take a look in here I wanted to show you guys some of the win percentages we're seeing this is the most recent data crunch set and what's been going on dude all of these teams that we're about to look at with these <laughs> these data crons are insane in uh, GAC right now. I mean, Darth Bane, obviously, I mean, Darth Bane's a beast. This isn't even really like a fair comparison. The lowest he gets is a 40% win rate, but like, you add the rule of two, minimum 83%. I mean, this might not even just be with the cron. It's just insane what Bane is doing. Take a look at Sidious here. A 75% on Darth Sidious is really nice. It's really not bad at all. Especially considering this is Darth Sidious. 7,295 people. And out of that 75% win rate, uh, from going from that probably a, like, from like a 1% win rate, that's insane. That's really, really good. And we take a look at Ray here. I mean, 100%, 100%, 100%, 95%. I mean, you can see all the synergy with Holdo and Ben right here, 84%. Holdo, 83%. And this gets even better in uh, 5v5, obviously, but we don't have 5v5 data for GAC just yet. And obviously, it, Ray, this is a niche case because we haven't really gotten too much time to play test this. this. I'm just showing you guys what I've been doing to climb in my squad arena in a second here. So, I mean, this is really cool. These Datacron sets are insane. I'm very excited to get more in my collection. Uh, but now back to the video where I was uh, where I was talking about originally. Those are the kind of good, really, really great crowns that are going around this season. Obviously, there's plenty more crowns. I mean, if we go back in here, hold on, I probably shouldn't have closed it yet. If we go back in here, you can see some of the other characters in here. There's a lot of Separatist stuff in here. Um, Admiral Trench, Geno's and Spies, Stab, Count Dooku. A lot of um, Jedi stuff in here. You see Mace Windu, Keller and Beck, Jedi Knight Cal. Uh, Kit Fisso. So there's a bunch of Jedi and Separatist stuff in here as well. However, I don't really have a lot of that stuff upgraded on my roster, so we're not going to be talking about it too much today. But what I do want to showcase to you guys is this insane Holdo Kron and what Holdo is doing for me in my squad arena. You see my rank right here, 189. My squad arena, I have been stuck at. I've been stuck at like 400. I've been stuck in rank 400 in my uh, in my squad arena bracket j just forever because I, my squad arena goes back to like the first year of the game. Everyone in my top 50 is in the top of Kyber. Uh, I mean, there's people in Call in here, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, I, I, I'm never going to really get to the very top. It, it's just not possible. But 
I went from 400 to 189 and hopefully we get to 169 in this battle right here. Now, this is the team I'm running. My Ray mods, not that super, honestly, they're they're not amazing, but they're not terrible. The the Kron helps a little bit with the health and protection here, but speed, not perfect, I'll be honest. She's Relic 8, that definitely does help. My Resistance Hero Finn, Relic 7, uh, he should be over 300 speed. Yeah, he's exactly 300 speed, so that works out perfectly for me. Um, BB-8, uh, I don't think BB-8's got too much going for him, to be honest. BB-8 doesn't do too much for me right now on this team. Kind of helps up with turn meter and whatever, but uh, Poe here, nothing insane either. Not terrible, not bad. Got the Zetas. Relic 5, just so I got where we're, uh, basically where the light speed bundle is and give him a few extra upgrades. Uh, but Holdo here, um, nothing insane either. I don't even have the Zeta unique on her, which I mean I assume would help a little bit. I haven't looked too much into her Zeta, honestly. I've just started playtesting her a little bit with this Kron. These are the stats I have, and it gets pretty insane. What we've seen is that this team, sorry you guys, we've seen that this Kron and this team, this is sort of come, coming more and more common that from what I've heard and talking to you guys in live streams perhaps, is that this team right here is definitely countering a lot more uh, Jedi Master Kenobi's. Uh, I do not have my Zori Relic. Um, still working on her. I got so many things to do on the account right now. Zori just hasn't been uh, relic up yet, but I want to get her relic up soon. The point being, I can't really play test this with Zori. Um, I know Zori is a pretty good team right now with this Kron, but I want to specifically show you what I'm looking at with these Jedi Master Kenobi battles <laughs> with this with this Ray team with this Kron. It's insane. So we take a look over here. They're gonna get their hits off. That's whatever. Let's start off with Lifeblood on Finn. Get that protection back. Let's also change up the music a little bit here. Uh, let's hit this over to Ray. Get a little bit of Terminator there. Um, yeah, we'll just hit the basic. That's not gonna do anything. Don't really need more Lifeblood right now. Uh, let's just hit hit that that for now. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. Now, she's under damage maybe, which is great. Uh, all this mastery going around, I think this is not her either. Now let's call an AoE on General Kenobi. And really, the hard part about these battles is getting through this Kenobi. Um, I don't really have anyone else I can heal, so I'm just gonna AoE for now, get a little bit of defense down, but he flipped it, it didn't really matter. Um, but Holdo here, as you can see, is not dead yet. Uh, Kenobi, you're gonna die here? No, usually kind of doesn't die in that first love whirlwind yet. The hole though is just going to be standing up strong, and by the end of this battle, I guarantee you this hole though will. <laughs> she's probably going to be full health again. Um, hopefully, I get the ult off before Kenobi. Kenobi's going to get the ult. Yeah, that'll uh, that is the annoying part of this. If you can get past his ult, then I mean this really does help out quite a bit. Getting past this Kenobi, it makes it a lot easier. From after you get through Kenobi, it, it's really a cakewalk. Uh, you just gotta whittle them down, and hopefully you have enough time left to do it. Now, if I fail here, this would be really embarrassing. But <laughs> I've only failed on this one time, and I misplayed, and it was against a Relic Nine, like a, a lot of Relic Nines on the team. So I, I, I'm pretty sure this is a fairly consistent counter. I've done this probably 20 times at this point, to be honest. I, I've really gone hog wild play testing this, trying to see the best combo of getting this team down. It really is, and. Man, if I had Ray for offense to take down JFKs, dude, this would be a fire counter I would use all the time. I currently I put my Ray on my defense, but man, this is fun. This is really fun. Let's pass the turn meter back over here a little bit. Um, I mean, we don't really need any more uh, lifeblood right now. I mean, Holdo's just taking all the hits, and she's got all this protection still. She's been down and so many times. Um, let's hit the ult here. Now, hopefully, we can get some a little bit more in here before before Kenobi gets to become a problem, please? Can I pick? Please don't ult. Okay, great. He didn't ult. We should be able to kill Kenobi here, and this battle should be fairly simple from here on out. Uh, please, please let me get the kill here. Please. Okay, we're about to. Oh, he recovered. We're getting close. See, get past Kenobi here. Get past Kenobi and this becomes super easy. Oh my god. Come on, get the kill there. Done. All right, now it becomes super easy. Um, we don't really need to worry about a Sogatano with the Insta Kill. The Insta Kills aren't really doing much. This Kron is just insane. Uh, they are going for Ray right now. Not ideal, but not not horrible either. Uh, we're gonna work on gas like a little bit here. Not super worried about. I'm not really worried about a Soka. We're gonna leave uh, Kenobi for last. Um, let's just get Gas out of here. He's gonna be annoying, so try and there we go. Eliminated Kenobi or er, 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 Gas. Uh, Cat. Yep. Still see five armor shreds on there. 
We still haven't lost a unit yet. Um, let's get BB-8's box back out here. This is great. Uh, Soka's gonna dispel that, which is a pretty annoying, but, I mean, that's only on one character here. He's gonna still got all these bus passers on everyone else. So now let's, uh, pull the ult here, and, I mean, you can kind of see how their team's crumbling apart. Now, we're getting close to the end of the timer here. Um, this is what can be tricky, is if you can't get the timer down in time, that is how I lost that one time. I, again, I said I only lost one time doing this out of all of the times I've done this. And the timer ran out just because I couldn't kill Kenobi at the end. It was too, just so beefy. Uh, I couldn't get through it. But every single other time, I have killed this Kenobi team. Every time. I have climbed from 400 to 169 now in my squad arena with everyone basically being a Kyber. I, this is one Erodian player, but I mean, basically everyone here is in Kyber, and I should not be in Kyber. I should not be. Really, I'm in the upper levels of Erodium. I should be lucky to be there. So, this Kron is really cool. I just wanted to show off what I'm doing with my Data Krons, where I'm going with it, and I really wanted to show off that Jedi Master Kenobi counter for those of you guys who have not seen it. It is really cool. It is really fun. I'm really happy with it. I am abusing the hell out of it to climb in Squad Arena. And uh, if you haven't tried it, hey, try to get that Holdo Kron, I guess. Now, the Ray Kron, again, is very good. However, I used the Ray Kron, and I actually had a harder time getting this Ray Kron to be as effective as the Holdo Kron against this J JMK counter. And that, I think, is because if you take a look here, the first time Ray is defeated, they are revived 100% health, gain 10 protection over time at 75% for two turns, and take a bonus turn. This fuels your Ray. But this Holdo Kron really fuels the entire keep team, keeps you guys alive, and like I said, we finished that battle almost with 100% of our health and protection back. Holdo, I think, was at, at the high uh, layer stages of the yellow and had a full protection, whatever, I, I think, anyways. That's typically what happens. Holdo tanks everything, and the entire team just works down that JMK. Cat can't do anything, can't get those insta-kills off. Um, they can't kill Holdo. Um, and really, once you get past that GK, it's just, it's fun. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about this video and about this Data Cron set in the description, or comment section down below, not the description. Join our Discord server, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, you guys.